Thermometer, right? And that thermometer does what when it gets hot? It goes up. It goes up, and it does what when it gets cold? It comes back down, right? So, how can we explain? Because here's the deal. I have a set amount of matter in here, right? Am I adding any matter? No. Am I taking away any matter? No. Okay, so, what happens when I put it in the hot water? Rises pretty quickly, right? It adds energy to the matter. Okay, so Jesse says we're adding energy to the matter. That's an excellent observation. So, if I put it in the cold water, the energy goes down. It takes away this. Okay, so somebody try to explain to me. So, you're right, we're adding energy, we're taking away energy. Why is that changing the level of the thermometer? I actually had a hypothesis. Let's hear it. Liquid actually expands. Okay. Because of the tiny tube that it's in, instead of expanding and just being wider, it goes up. Okay, so it has something to do with this tiny tube. Sorry. And then probably the other way around. Excellent. Sam? Um, I was thinking that since hot water has more energy, like it, like, shh, pressure against the liquid, and then it shoots up. Okay, so maybe the hot water actually puts pressure on the bulb. And then the cold water doesn't have so much pressure, so it goes down. Okay. What else? Any other ideas? How does how is the matter affected? How do the particles? So we've been talking about particles, right? So what happens with the particles that can explain this? What do you think? They just continuously move, and if the energy, if it's cold water, they just slow down. Okay. So why would that explain the liquid going up or down? Because you're right, they go slower when they're cold and faster when they're hot. Why would that explain uh, the temperature going up and down? Because when they're cold, they all work together, and that's when they go down. Very good. So when they're cold, not only do they slow down, they get closer together. Okay. So when I put this in the hot water, the opposite happens. They speed up, and... They get farther apart, right? We talked about just like you and your friends. It's 110 degrees. You still want to hang out with your friends, but you're not going to be standing right next to each other. Okay? When it's 30 degrees and you want to hang out with your friends or 20 degrees outside, you're going to stand a little bit closer because it's cold and you got some body heat going on and stuff, right? So.